Hey everyone, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to cite evidence in your English work and why it's important to do so. You are citing evidence. You are basically supporting yourself. You're telling the reader or your teacher that you are not just correct, but you're an expert. Okay? So you don't just state what you believe. You state without a doubt that this is the truth. And then you're going to pull that sentence from the text that shows that that is the truth. For example, if I were to say that the sky is blue, I'm not just going to say the sky is blue. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to take a color swatch and I'm going to say, well, if this picture is blue and this color swatch matches what you see in the sky and I hold them together, then you can see that that, blue, that is blue. This color swatch says blue. This picture is the same as the color swatch. We're blue, okay? That's evidence. So if you're reading a story and you're saying that the siblings from House Taken Over were quiet all day long trying to hide from those voices, well, automatically you know that they're not correct because you can go back and look at that text and say hold on now during the day they were loud they were trying to scare off the voices they were trying to cover up the sound of the voices so that they were not creeped out by the voices okay so again you want to make sure that you use evidence in order to support yourself in order to prove your case now there's a difference between strong evidence and weak evidence remember that this is an argument even if you know 100 percent that what you're saying is true you have to back it up you have to prove your point and you want to use the strongest evidence that you can in order to prove without a doubt to your teacher that you are 100 percent on this you got it you know the answer and you put it out there all right so that is how you make sure that your evidence is strong. Think of it as an argument. Think of it as an argument you want to win, not one that you just don't care about. Make sure that it's an argument that you want to win and that you're going to get the best evidence out there to prove yourself correct. Because the more correct you are, the higher your grade gets. All right. So I hope that helps a little bit. If you have any more questions, just feel free to comment, message, let me know what you need. All right.